guys, Dr. Rob Barrington here with some more nutrition advice. Um, I've talked a lot about the metabolic syndrome in my videos and I've written um, a number of articles on the metabolic syndrome and uh, insulin resistance and how uh, really the, the metabolic syndrome, insulin resistance, leptin resistance, these are the primary drivers of obesity and weight gain. Uh, and those people that want to maintain their health and they don't want to put weight on as they get older and those people that perhaps have already put weight on but want to reverse that and they want to become leaner they really have to focus on improving their insulin sensitivity and this will in turn uh, reduce the uh, the metabolic disruption uh, the cluster of which the, these disorders we call the metabolic uh, syndrome uh, that will reverse that and return or maintain uh, the person's health. Um, I've talked a lot about insulin resistance and food, individual foods that are able to increase, uh, improve insulin sensitivity and therefore reduce the risk of developing this metabolic dysfunction, this metabolic syndrome. A lot of research has been uh, done on individual foods but what researchers are starting to look at now are dietary patterns rather than individual foods, what dietary patterns, what sort of uh, diets do people eat that actually protect them from developing the metabolic syndrome? And it's very interesting because there are a, a, there is a, one dietary pattern that comes up time and time again that appears to be very beneficial to those people uh, who want to avoid the metabolic syndrome or reverse the metabolic syndrome, and that is uh, a, a diet based on fruits and vegetables uh, with nuts and legumes. Um, and this is really uh, why, the meta uh, why the Mediterranean diet is also very helpful for those people with the metabolic syndrome because the, met the, the, the Mediterranean diet contains high amounts of fruits and vegetables. It also contains uh, other foods like legumes and nuts uh, that appear to be uh, very beneficial uh, at protecting from the metabolic syndrome. And I came across, um, I was reading the Journal of Nutrition, uh, reading the, 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 uh, an article in the Journal of Nutrition and I came across uh, a paper that looked at dietary patterns and how they were associated with developing uh, the, the, the metabolic syndrome and how they could either protect or increase the risk of, of, of insulin resistance. And the pattern that I identified, surprise, surprise, uh, included large amounts of fruits and vegetables uh, and consumption of nuts and legumes in the diet. Um, and really this is, this is a very important message for those people that want to maintain their health. Nutrition is often made uh, to appear very complex and people often uh, complain to me that um, they never really know what to eat because there's so much conflicting information. If I had to tell, uh, you know, if I had to inform people that, you know, what do I eat in order to be healthy, fruits, vegetables, nuts and legumes, time and time again, uh, repeatedly in the research come up as a food pattern that is protective of Western lifestyle disease, particularly because it appears to be protective of developing the metabolic syndrome. I will put the link to that paper in the comments box uh, below this video and you can check it out yourself. Within the paper there were also um, other dietary patterns that were associated with actually uh, decreasing insulin sensitivity and it was no surprise that the foods that decrease the ins insulin sensitivity include fried foods, they include sweets uh, and uh, they included processed foods that really uh, I've been saying many, many times shouldn't be part of, uh, of a healthy diet. Uh, there was another dietary pattern uh, that was identified uh, that contained high amounts of animal protein and that was uh, associated with an increased waist, waist circumference uh, and an increased body mass index. Um, now, dietary patterns are very complex and, 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 and it's, you know, depending on which study you read, it is sometimes difficult to interpret. Sometimes red meat and animal protein is shown to be beneficial, sometimes it's shown to be detrimental, um, sometimes dairy appears to be uh, beneficial and in this, in this case, in this study, it was, it was associated with, a, with an increased risk of metabolic syndrome. But if we go to the studies that, cons that are cons if we go to the, f the foods and the dietary patterns that are consistently showing uh, beneficial health effects, what we have to say is that fruits and vegetables, nuts and legumes consistently time after time in the nutritional literature show uh, protective effects against the development of insulin resistance and uh, a metabolic syndrome. 
So I think the take home message from this this video is if you're concerned about your health and you're not currently eating high quantities of fruits and vegetables, nuts and legumes, I think you should think about trying to incorporate more of those into your diet. Uh, they appear to be very consistently shown to be healthy foods. And certainly the evidence to, uh, you know, the, the, most of the evidence to date uh, shows that they are particularly protective against the development of insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome which appears to be the main driver of weight gain and obesity uh, and also possibly cardiovascular disease uh, so uh, uh, including ty type 2 diabetes as well so it, it is involved in the uh, the formation of what we call a cluster of western lifestyle diseases um, like i say i'll put the link to this paper in the comments box below this but please go to my blog and look at the other articles that i've written on the metabolic syndrome and insulin resistance and look at the other foods that are protective um, but if you can incorporate more fruits and vegetables, nuts and legumes into your diet, I think you've got a very good chance of avoiding developing the metabolic syndrome. Uh, and uh, I think uh, those foods particularly will improve your health uh, if you can get them into your diet. So I hope that was interesting. Um, if you've got any comments on this video, please put them in the comments box below. And as always, I'll try to get back to you and I will see you soon for another video. Take care. <laughs>